What is up guys, it's Rob, hope you're doing good. So today I'm gonna be checking out the Digitech drop pedal. Now if you're anything like me in life, you've probably made three different types of purchases. The first type of purchase is the things that you buy which you instantly regret, they're terrible, waste of money, and you wish you hadn't bought them. The second type is things that you buy that you enjoy, you're glad you bought them, but if you could have your money back, then you probably would. They don't make a great impact on your life. And the third is things that you buy which actually genuinely improve your life and you're so glad you bought them. This pedal for me is definitely one of those things. For anyone unfamiliar with what this pedal does, it does exactly what it says on the box and it drops your guitar's tuning. It has a little twisty dial on the top and every time you turn it clockwise, it will lower your guitar's tuning by a semitone, which is a massive help if you're anything like me, if you're in a band or you do any recording where you want to tune your guitar lower but you don't want to go to the heavier gauge of strings and keep swapping between the two if you have to go back to standard tuning again, it's a massive pain in the ass and it saves you having to have loads of different guitars which are all tuned differently. You can basically have one guitar and just use this pedal to drop your guitar's tuning to whatever you desire down to a whole octave. So every time you play the guitar, the pedal is gonna get the information, the sound of your guitar, and it's gonna convert it, and it's gonna put it through the amp or the speakers or anything like that in the new tuning. So naturally you'd expect there to be a bit of latency, a little bit of delay between you actually playing the guitar and some noise actually coming out of your speakers. But in all honesty, from my experience, there is absolutely zero latency. And even if there is, it's so small, you will barely notice it. I'm gonna put this down. So a couple of years ago in my band, we decided to start playing about with different tunings in our songs, just to try and stop things sounding very similar and repetitive, which is really cool to do, but then presented the issue of playing these songs live, especially if you only have a very small set, like a half an hour set or something like that, and you've got five or six songs in different tunings, then it's ridiculous to kind of have different guitars in different tunings and have to constantly swap in between songs to play them. So that's why something like the drop pedal is massively useful in that situation. As long as the tunings that you're using for your songs are basically taking standard tuning, for example, and lowering that to standard D or standard C. Um, obviously, if your guitar is in standard tuning, the pedal won't make it dadgad, for argument's sake, or it won't make it drop D. It just lowers everything all at once. But for me, that really helped me out in terms of playing live and just being able to save valuable time on stage from doing a guitar swap. Didn't have to do that anymore. Use the drop pedal and I could just drop everything and then turn it back off instantly and I'm back in standard tuning. Also, people might be wondering whether it affects the overall tone of your guitar, because obviously it's got to take the sound and convert it and put a different sound out for your speakers than what would normally be coming out. So personally, I've never noticed any change in tone by using the drop pedal. So I was the first one in my band to get one of these pedals, and when the rest of the guys were still swapping their guitars and just seeing me press a button to be able to change my tuning, it didn't take them long to actually get one themselves, which to me just shows how useful they are. So I'm going to assume that the majority of people looking at this pedal are maybe interested in metal music or rock music, because those sort of styles require the lower tunings quite a lot of the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play about with my guitar, play some riffs through the drop pedal, uh, and lower it a semitone each time and show you how it sounds all the way down to an octave. And I forgot to say that when you lower it by an octave, it actually gives you a really cool feature. It acts like an octave pedal, where it takes your guitar signal and gives you that, as well as the octave version at the same time. So it sounds really cool, uh, and I'll demonstrate that very shortly. But for now, I'm just gonna grab my guitar, play some riffs, and show you how the drop pedal works and how it sounds. So let's check it out. So as well as this camera that I'm gonna be using to film myself playing the guitar, I'm gonna try and film my pedal board at the same time to show you what's going on. Uh, so I'm gonna use my GoPro. This is my attempt at trying to do some sort of multi-cam thing. So I'm gonna start filming it on my camera now. Uh, and I'm going to show you the rig that I've got set up. So uh, if I just look down here, uh, obviously I've got the drop pedal there. Uh, this black lead here is going into my guitar, and this lead here was currently going into my noise suppressor, and that's just a tuner. This is just what I have on my normal rig all the time anyway. I don't really use much fancy pedals. This is literally it. I like to keep it simple. Uh, then my power supply there. So I'm going to use the tuner to show you what the notes are on my guitar before I press the pedal. Then I'll press the pedal and then I'll show you what the new notes are coming up as on my tuner then. So you can see that it is dropping it by a perfect semitone each time. So that's what I've got going on just down to the side of me. So let's grab my guitar and check it out. So here we go, the guitar is now plugged in. As you can hear. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be playing in drop D tuning on my guitar. So my guitar is currently in standard tuning, but the low E is a D. So when I hit the drop pedal, it's just gonna drop everything one semitone at a time. Sounds pretty nice. Obviously the drop pedal is on currently, but I've not actually pressed the button to activate it. So I'll switch to my lovely multicam GoPro now and I'll show you me doing that. Hopefully you can see this, but there's my drop pedal. Um, if I press this button here, the LED will light up, which then tells me that it is on. 
the LED on this side is currently on number one, which tells me that now this is on, it has dropped its one semitone. And if I turn this dial here at the top, the LED changes to number two, number three, number four, number five, and so on. And if I press this button again, it goes off. So now that I can play my guitar and I can turn this and it's not gonna change anything um, because this isn't switched on. So as I said, I'm gonna show you the notes on the tuner so you can see the before and after. To show you that when I use a drop pedal, the notes that you then have are still perfectly in tune, but obviously it dropped a semitone. So this is quite difficult to do, but if I play my D string for argument's sake, you can see that it's in tune. And now I'm gonna head over to my drop pedal, press it on there, the LED is on, to show you that it is now switched on. It's on number one, which means that now it should have dropped my guitar tone by a semitone. So now if I go back to the tuner and I play my D string again, it's coming up as C sharp, absolutely perfectly in tune. So I've shown you that the drop pedal does work and it does drop your entire guitar's tuning by a perfect semitone, which is very cool and very reassuring as well, especially live, because you don't want to be nearly in tune, you want to be perfectly in tune. But how does it sound? Let's take a look at that. So if I just play in normal standard tuning, well, drop D tuning, and I play. And now I head over to my drop pedal and I press it on again. And now I'll play it. You can hear that it's dropped my guitar, a whole semitone, and in my opinion, I don't think it's altered the tone at all. There's absolutely no latency as well. So if I just play again, you can see that the sound that you're hearing is coming. As soon as I hit the strings, the sound is coming out. There's absolutely no delay at all. <laughs> So there you go, that's the drop pedal dropping it a semitone. So if I go back to the GoPro and I show you again, I'm now going to drop it, I'm going to turn the wheel a little bit more. Obviously it's still on number one, I'm going to turn it again. So now I'm on number two. So this should now be drop C sharp, I think. So let's see how this now sounds. So first I'll turn it off and play it in normal. And now I'm going to hit the drop pedal and this should be drop C sharp. Wow, that sounds great to me. That is not altering the tone at all. There's no delay, there's no latency on that one either. The further down you go in tuning, it still maintains your tone, it still maintains the no delay thing. Absolutely love it. So yeah, let's keep it going. Let's basically drop it down again. So now I am on number three on my drop pedal, which should be drop B, I believe. And let's see how the drop B sounds. So again, this is it without the pedal. And now I will push it on number three, drop B, and this is now how it sounds. Okay, let's keep it going, let's drop it again. So we were on number three there, and now we are on number four. Um, apologies, by the way, it's so dark down here. I don't have great lighting in this room, and it's dark outside, so I can't get the daylight. Um, and hopefully this isn't too dark or blurry or anything on the GoPro. So yeah, LED number four is on. Drop pedals are on there. So again, like always, this is it without. Now I'll press it on, and now we should be in drop A sharp. So obviously naturally the lower your guitar tone goes, even if you're tuning it and not using the drop pedal, it's still gonna change the overall tone of what you're hearing. I don't think it's because of the drop pedal, I think it's because more of the lower tunings, the lower frequencies, and they just naturally sound different. Still, no latency, no delay. Which is cool. So now let's drop 
up it again from number four to number five. So we were in drop A sharp, and now we should just be in normal drop A tuning. If I play my D string, there we go, it's coming up as A. So tuner off and drop pedal off, once again, standard tuning. Now we're in drop A tuning. So now everything just sounds ridiculously low, which is awesome. This is also the great thing is the fact that I'm playing in drop A tuning on a Gibson SG with ninth gauge strings and they're still really tight, really taut. They're not slack, which is often the case when you start tuning your guitar down and lowering your guitar's tuning. The strings go really slack, so that's why you need thicker ones. With this drop pedal, you don't need to do any of that. It still maintains the string tightness, the string clarity, all your notes and everything like that. It's just dropping the tuning, which is phenomenal. Okay, let's lower it one more time. We'll go from drop A to drop G sharp. So we'll turn that from number five down to number six. Turn the pedal off and I'll just hit the tuner and play my D string again, which is coming up as D for the moment. Now I'll hit the drop pedal, play it again. Now we have G sharp. So I'll turn the drop pedal off, tuner off. Now we're in drop D. Hit the drop pedal <laughs> and now we're in drop G sharp. which is crazy low now. Anybody is into rock, metal, gen, any of that sort of play, you definitely need to get yourself one of these things. I can just hit an open um, E note, which would be D if I didn't have the drop pedal on, uh, but now I'm in drop G sharp, and it sounds like this. It just sounds monstrous with the pedal on, even though my guitar is only in drop D. It's so crazy. Okay, let's keep going. So let's go from number six, number seven, so that should now be drop G. Turn the drop pedal off, go to the tuner, and play my D string so you can see. Still, D. Now head to the drop pedal, press that on, and this should be G. There you go. So now we are in drop G. I can't think under any circumstance why I personally would ever play in drop G, but it's good to know that I can if I want to, and I don't need to do anything different to my guitar. Just get the drop pedal, and away we go. So here we are, as normal. Drop D, straight to drop G. I think my computer, maybe it's just the drop pedal thing, because it's so low, all the notes to me now just sound really, really muddy uh, and the clarity is gone. Um, but I think that is just because they're so low. I don't know why anyone would, would want to play in drop G. Obviously, if you're in a metal or gent band, something like that, you could probably get away with these sort of things. And there's probably things you could do to your guitar. Different pickups or different amp settings or something like that would help you get a bit more clarity in the tone and make your notes stop um, getting all muddled up and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do any of that sort of stuff. I'm just demonstrating how it sounds naturally through the guitar. A basic amp setting 
and the drop pedal. So we're on number seven there, and the last one, number eight, doesn't go down a semitone, it basically drops your entire guitar signal down a whole octave. So I'm gonna be in drop D at first, I'm gonna hit the drop pedal, and this time around, it's still gonna be in drop D, but it's gonna be an octave lower than the original guitar. So let's check that one out now, and go from number seven to oct. I don't know if you can see that on there, I'll try and do a close up later if you can. But this one says oct for octave. So again, turn it off. So now that's gone off and I will play normal drop D, hit the drop pedal. And I'm still in drop D tuning down a whole octave. So anything that I play without the drop pedal on. Should now sound pretty much exactly the same, just a lot lower. But there you go, that's the drop pedal now dropping my guitar entire octave. Uh, and the last setting that you get, you get like a little bonus setting with this, which is to be able to blend the normal guitar signal with the octave sound to give you this really cool octave effect, like I said earlier. Uh, and this is what that one sounds like. So if I show you here, we are on the oct setting for octave, and I go one more time to the right, and now you'll be able to hear the standard tuned guitar as well as the octave tuned down guitar as well to give you a really awesome sound. Let's check out how that one sounds. So this is it without it, I can play something like this. And now put the drop pedal on so you'll be able to hear both at the same time and now it sounds like this. Kind of reminds me of that whole deep purple organ sound. Okay, that's pretty much it for the drop pedal, but it's got one more feature, which is rather than just having it on or off, you can also have it on what's called a momentary setting, which is basically so that you can have the drop pedal on only if your foot is on the button keeping it on, and as soon as you release your foot, the drop pedal is off. It's only on as long as your foot is pressed down on the button. So I'll just demonstrate that very quickly be pretty tricky to do but this is the setting for that this little switch here currently it's got it off and now I'll put this switch to on that means it's now on momentary so if I press this button you see that the light lights up there so if my finger was my foot and I'm pressing on there now it has lowered the tone and as soon as I release that it's off and I'm not pressing it repeatedly I'm just literally on off on off so here we are going normal tuning <laughs> And I'll now play that chord again, but halfway through, I'll press the button and then release my foot so you can hear how that sounds. Sounds pretty crazy. Let's try it again a little bit lower. So there you go, that is everything to do with the drop pedal, that's how it sounds and that's what it does. So there you go guys, that is a quick look at the drop pedal by Digitech. I'm not endorsed to say any of this by the way, I've just been using this pedal for years and I've always wanted to make a demo of it so finally got around to doing that now so I hope you enjoyed it. The weirdest thing to keep in mind with this pedal is that it only drops what's coming out of your speakers. So if you can still hear the natural sound of your guitar whilst you're playing as well as what's coming out of your speakers, it will sound horrendous because you'll be basically hearing two differently tuned guitars at the same time. So as long as you're playing through headphones or you're playing through an amp or something that's basically gonna drown out the sound of your electric guitar, you'll be absolutely fine. So that is pretty much everything and I think this is a really great pedal. It certainly made my life on stage a lot easier. I haven't really ever used it before recording. This is the first time I've ever used it to do any recording with and I've gotta say I'm quite happy with how it sounds even plugged in. So overall, I can't really complain. I think it sounds awesome. So that's pretty much everything. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please click up here to see another one. Here to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.